Hi, today I'm going to show you how to add internationalization support to your React Native apps, which in simple word means adding translation support. I'm also going to show you how to handle right to left layoff support, which is needed for languages like Arabic, Hebrew, Urdu, Farsi, etc. However, the process is same for all these languages, so you can follow this for any RTL language you want to support. The library I'm going to use is React i18 Next, which is based on i18 Next. It's really nice and it has all the features you would need and a very good documentation. It also works on both React and React Native. So I'm going to start by initiating a new React Native project. I am going to use the latest version of React Native, which is 0.62 right now. So now that our app has been initialized, um, I'm going to add dependencies for React Navigation because I'm going to add a couple of screens to the app. Let's add the package. There are more packages to install. Okay, so now I'm going to do pod install and we're going to do rest of the setup process later on. Let's run the app now. Okay, now that our app is running, I'm going to add two dummy screens and initialize React Navigation. Let's open the project in VS Code. Let's create the two dummy screens we're going to use in our project. Just gonna copy paste the code I've already written to make this faster. All right, so I have added some dummy content here, very simple. Um, just some text that we'll later translate, um, a row, so that we can test our, if our rows are getting flipped. Um, there's text input in here. There's a button that navigates to an inner screen, which we'll create in a second. And uh, there's a button for changing the language. Right now, it doesn't do anything, but we're going to make it functional later on. And there are some basic styles. You can find all the project code in the GitHub repo that are linked to in the project description. Let's add the inner screen as well. I'll just copy paste the code that I have written already. All right, so this is again a very simple screen, nothing happening here, just basic styles. All right, let's modify the app.js file to include React Navigation and include these two screens into our app. We won't need most of this code. Um, we are not using flow type, so I'm just going to remove everything from here. We'll now go back to the React Navigation documentation. We need to do one more step. All right.
we need to include our two screens here now. Now we can add Stack Navigator and add these two screens to the stack. Let's go back to the documentation. There's a package we need to install. I'll have to do pod install again. Okay, so we need to run the app again. It's empty because we haven't added our components yet. Let's go back to the documentation for React Navigation. Create the stack. And now we'll add our screens to the stack. Do the same for inner screen. Okay, so now if you see our app is working, so the next step is to add our internationalization library, which is I 18 next. We'll add the packages. There are no native dependencies, so we don't need to do all the install again, but we'll restart the packager. Let's refresh the app. Okay, so now we gotta initialize I18 next. Let's go back to the documentation. Copy this. Let's create a new file for I18 next. Let's paste it here. Let's import it into our app.js. Let's refresh the app to make sure nothing broke. Okay. Next step is to add translation support to our components. How we do that is that we use a translation function that React I18 Next provides and wrap our strings around it. So let's go back to the I18 Next documentation. Scroll down. As you can see, there is a hook we can use. There are also higher order components, render props, and translation components that you can use. Uh, but I'm going to use the hook. So 
So the next step is to use this translation function for our strings. Now we'll go back to our i18n file and add translation for this string. Let's just change this. If everything went right. Yep. So you can see that uh, hello world has been replaced with this. One thing to note here is that how are added translations? So the way I'm doing it is that I'm using the natural language as my key. So it is not the recommended approach. Uh, the recommended approach is to have a proper key, for example, hello world. This way, um, what you can do is, first of all, you use keys for all the content in your app. That way, you define all the keys here for all the languages. And you have one central place to basically handle all the content in your app. And if you use a cloud solution, to load translations in your app, that means it's easy for you to update the content. But I am just gonna use my natural language um, strings for translation. That way, when I basically don't have to write translations for English, um, for English, the key will be used as uh, the content, the translation, and for other languages, I will uh, define the translations. I'll leave a link to the i18n documentation page where they talk about translation keys and fallback, along with all the other helpful links in the video description below. So let's add translation for Arabic as well. Let me fix this. I've added the Arabic translation, but now you'll see that it doesn't do anything, of course, because we haven't actually then the part where we change the language. We'll go back to our component file. Let's import the i18n instance. And we're gonna use uh, the change language method, which is defined here to change our language. We can check what our current language is by doing this. Since we are using Arabic for this tutorial, we're going to use AR. If the language is already Arabic, change it to English. Otherwise, change it back to Arabic. So let's try this. You can see the language is changing when we press the change language button. But you'll notice that it's not, Arabic is not aligned to the right. For that, we'll have to handle, we'll have to do a few things to allow RTL layouts in our app. So there's a few things we need to do to enable right to left layout in React Native. First of all, we update some native files to enable RTL in our app. And then there's a utility in React Native called i18n manager, which has a few methods that we all use. So let's go back to our browser. There's an article on React Native blog that talks about adding right to left support for React Native apps. It talks about how React Native provides a few utilities to handle right to left layout by default. 
and there's a few instructions that we need to follow and add and make some changes to our native files. Let's go back to our project. Find the app delegate file for iOS. Scroll down to <coughs> scroll down to the did finish launching with options method. Copy paste the code here. You also need to import this utility. which it doesn't talk about in the documentation, but we have to do this. All right, let's go back to the documentation and let's follow the steps for Android. So basically for Android, they say you have to change, make the changes in main activity.java, but you have to do them in main application.java. So let's copy the piece of code here. Go back to the editor. Main application. Let's scroll down. To the onCreate method. And paste the code here. Fix the indentation. We have to change context to get application context. Otherwise our app doesn't build. And we have to import it as well. Let's go back to the documentation. We need to now open the Android manifest file and add this part of the code. Let's go back to our editor. Let's make sure you add it under main application. Okay, so the native file changes are done. So now what we need to do is, we need to do something called forcing RTL which will flip the layout for us and React Native will then handle a lot of things and flip a lot of the text and elements and stuff like that. So we don't have to do a lot. So let's go back to our component and find the change language function. What we'll do here is we'll import i18 and manager. What i18n manager allows you to do is it has a few utilities that we will get to in a bit. So let's scroll down, change this to promise. And what we'll do here is so we're going to use this for SRTL function which basically what it does is it flips your layout to right to left. So it accepts a Boolean and so uh, we'll, we'll see if our language was changed to Arabic and then we'll pass force RTL as true. If it was changed to English, we'll pass it for force RTL false and that will flip it. So because we made some native changes, we'll have to restart the app. Let's go back to our terminal. And one more thing we need to do is, we'll go back to our i18n file. And what we can do here is we have defined the default language here, which is English. But what we'll do is that when we change the language in our component, 
and we flip to RTL. We'll check the state if the app is in RTL state and we will change the language accordingly. So let's import i18 and manager here. So we'll add a conditional here. We'll use a method called is RTL. If it is RTL, set the language to Arabic, otherwise send the language to English. And then now we'll go back to our app that should have started running again. It'll refresh it. I'll change the language here, but you'll notice it's not flipping to the right hand side. The reason for that is that React Native um, doesn't actually register um, the change till you restart the bundle. Um, one of the reasons for that is that the styles don't get updated. So if you restart the app now, you'll see that it has flipped to the opposite side. What we can do to fix this is that we can use a package called React Native Restart to restart our React Native instance because it's not really practical to ask the user to restart the app. So we just restart the React Native instance and that takes care of it. It's not a perfect solution, but there are no other solutions out there. And I've seen a few big apps using this working on in their React Native app. So let's go back to our browser. So this is the package. It's very simple. It gives you only one method to restart the bundle and you can see it in action. So let's add the package. You'll have to do pod install. Let's rerun the app. Now that our app is running, let's go back to VS Code. We'll import the package here. Scroll down. So we'll use this method called restart. So let's go back to our app. Now, if you change the language, you'll see it flips the language. You'll also see that it also flips the row to the opposite side. There's a few things that are not handled, including this text input. But you'll also notice that if you go to the inner screen, the React Navigation Back button is also flipped to the right side. So that is the advantage of the force RTL function inside the i18n manager. We don't have to do a lot of the work as it does it for us. So I'll go back now and I'll add Rest of the translations. Let's remove the English translations because those are not needed. And I'll quickly add all the Arabic translations. So I've added all the translations. Let's refresh the app. As you can see, 
our strings have been translated, but some of the strings are not right aligned. The problem with that is um, you have to explicitly tell React Native to align something to the left. So when it changes to RTL layout, it will automatically switch that to the right, which I've already done for this, as you can see in my component here. I've already aligned this to left. Let's do that for the string. Now, if you check the app, okay, sorry, don't if you check the app, it will be right aligned. Another thing that we notice is that the text input placeholder is aligned to the left, so let's handle that as well. Mm -hmm. This, if you notice, doesn't work like that. So we'll have to manually check if the layout is RTL, which we can do using the i18 manager again. So, here. Is So now that you can see, this is on. I forgot to add translation for this. Let me quickly do that. So as you can see, most of our app is translated and it's being um, shown in a right to left layout. So you'll notice that the React Navigation title is still not translated. For that, we'll have to use a hook called use layout effect. So let's go back to VS Code. Import the hook. Okay. Definition. We're going to use the translation function and we're going to add this translation to our translation file. Now, if you check our app, the title has been translated. So a couple of things I want to talk about here. So there might be a few more things you would want to do in a production app. So you might want to have a different image for right to left layouts and left to right layouts. Or you might have an icon that you want to flip. So for that, let's go back to our browser. If you scroll up, you'll see that uh, they talk about using i18 manager 
dot is RTL to check if the layout is RTL and output a different image or add a transform to flip an icon. All right, so that's all you need to translate your React Native app to Arabic and adding right to left layout support. You'll find the code for this tutorial in a GitHub repo that I'll add the URL to in the description below. So this is it. This is my first video tutorial, so I hope you enjoyed it and found it useful.